it's pretty surreal to think. I have no way to know which way my life is going to go, my lungs are going to go, my body's going to go, we don't know. But um, all we have to do is keep taking the next step. So you gotta breathe. Morning. Good morning, guys. Up we go. We are going upstairs to work on some store orders and get them all done. Into the working room we go. Whenever we're gone, I miss being right here on the floor working on things in our chaotic, teeny, teeny room where lots of things happen. We kind of joke that it's funny that the smallest room in the house is the room we use for all of our the working most stuff. Amount of stuff. Yeah. But it works. It works for us. We can make it work. So we are gonna get some things done. Okay, a couple things I wanna tell you guys. First of all, I am I have so many thoughts at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's laughing at me. I look over and do you guys know what this is? Do you recognize this? I'm not sure. Actually, oh, we should. Show them we should. The backstory of that binder. Okay, that's what you're about to see. One of the things I felt very strongly about was that I needed to come get a few things for this week at Duke. And one thing that I just can't get because, well, it says love sleep. That, that's not applicable to transplant evaluation week. Because gotta be there bright and early in the morning and all day. all day so can't get that also there was one that said if you love me let me sleep can't get that one either but I think probably the weeks following transplant eval I, d I don't even know what to expect for that I mean yeah. obviously the like part of it is I feel like the eval is like hanging over my head like this huge thing and so in a way it'll be like a relief to have it done but on the other hand we'll have a ton more information and maybe like scarier information or I don't know so it, it's I mean there'll be a recovery week just for like my body like there was no sleep happening <laughs> that week but like for real so I have to be at the hospital at 745 so we will leave bright and early. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the, other <coughs> the other thing, the thing that I actually really wanted to come here for, a binder <coughs> and like clear slippy any things to keep all of the uh, transplant paperwork organized. I realized I have Oliver's medical binder completely organized and like everything's perfect and so I thought I could do that for myself and make my own binder but it needs to be a pretty binder so we're on the hunt all right show us what you got we have the mint and gold nice. and it has gold dots inside perfect and the sheet protectors nice awesome there's a lot of papers so I'm gonna get the 50 so that's what this binder is and it, that binder got me through a hard week. It was the binder? It was all the binder. The binder did it. No, um, but it was funny because <clears throat> the social worker, who was amazing, whenever we talk about, like, whenever we tell our friends about our week at Duke, um, we go, the doctor, who was amazing, and, like, the social worker who was amazing. So anytime I talk about the medical personnel that we met at Duke, you can insert, they were amazing. The social worker, she and I were talking and I told her, or she was like appreciating how organized I was. And I told her, I realize in this process, I have very little control over anything. And so the one thing I have control over is my papers and I will control my papers. And she laughed and she was, she like totally loved how I got the binder and everything. Anyway, I look over and I'm like, wow, we did it. 
it's done that part of it that part <laughs> there's a lot more to come but the weird thing is today vertex the pharmaceutical company who is doing research and development for these life-changing medications for cystic fibrosis um not sponsored <laughs> it sounded like it yeah Oh, now read what? this. Vertex announced. Okay, so you guys know we've been talking about this medication that I've been waiting for for about a year now. Um, I was not eligible to be in the research trials because of my liver disease. And that is a bummer. But we were like, okay, we'll just wait till it comes out. Well, now in the last year, I've had decline in my lung function, which, I mean, <laughs> if there's a perk in it, I might be, because of my lung function decline, I might be eligible for compassionate use when this medication, the trial ends and it's waiting for FDA, FDA clearance. Anyway, the, the trial ended and today Vertex basically made an announcement that, they, that they've chosen, it's kind of a long story, but they've chosen the medication and this means that my hospital can now start the process of pursuing compassionate use for me and many other patients. I actually talked to my research team two days ago and they were like, Vertex is still waiting to choose the medication and we don't know when they're gonna choose it. And now here we are two days later and they've chosen it. So it feels so surreal to think that in I don't know, a month, I could potentially start taking the triple combination Vertex medication. And it is so terrifying and so exciting all at the same time. It's terrifying because sometimes CF patients who go on Vertex medications have a lot, a lot of side effects. And it can be very, very difficult for the first adjustment period who knows how long that could be but other patients don't have any side effects and um, what these medications do is they target the underlying cause of the CF issues so instead of treating the symptoms like uh, my lungs get infected and then I have symptoms of infection and then we treat those symptoms and that sort of thing instead of treating the symptoms it's actually treating the underlying cause so this is potentially really life-changing and it's so surreal to look over at this binder and think we just went through a week of double lung and liver transplant evaluation that is a potential in the future that is a potential step in my uh, continuing to live journey but another potential is this medication coming out and being significantly helpful so it's pretty surreal to think I have no way to know which way my life is gonna go my lungs are gonna go my body's gonna go we don't know but um, all we have to do is keep taking the next step and continuing to be faithful to be as just like work hard at keeping my body as healthy as I can. And so part of that right now, because I'm not, my appetite is like, I don't have a clue what happened, but it's basically gone. And so right now I'm pumping myself with calories and I'm continuing to do my vest and my mists and my medicines and all the things. And when the day comes that I get to try the, the Vertex medication, we will sit here and we will pick up the camera and I will probably cry and I'm gonna be like okay here we go here goes nothing and I'm gonna take that medication and we're gonna trust God with the outcome whether it's a really hard transition on that medicine whether the medicine works for me whether it doesn't we uh, also don't know uh, we don't know how my liver will do on those medications the triple because they, they are processed by the liver, and so there's always that unknown. But 
were excited to hopefully try it. And how I surreal mean, is that? Yeah, I mean the timing nobody knows, but right. we'll we'll see. And then I will also say if I am not eligible, so they don't my team doesn't know yet if there's going to be criteria that exclude me, maybe like liver disease, who knows. Um if I am excluded from compassionate use, that means I won't be able to start the medication until the FDA approves it and it comes on the market, which will most likely be, so we've heard, of course this will probably change, the end of this year or early next year. So in about six or nine months, th there's a lot that can happen in the next six to nine months. Yeah. But we just keep going. Keep on going. Keep so. on going. I'm, we're proud of you, honey. Thank and, you. And uh, thanks for tuning in today, guys. And as, as always, always, we, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night to the Olive Bowl.